So hilo wanasema kimya kingi kina mshindo mkuu. Ngoja nikuonesha hapa wanafanya fanyaje mambo yao. Wanasema Zengwe. Gary Neville anadai Mosala mbioni kuondoka Anfield. Hiyo ni kauli yake huyo Gary Neville ambaye ni mchezaji mahiri miaka yake ile anadai kwamba huu ndio msimu wa mwisho wa Mosala kuondoka Anfield. Ile ni gazeti nambari moja hapa Kenya inapigwa chapa na kampuni ya Nation Media Group ambaye ndio mmiliki mkuu wa hii running inayoangalia kwa sasa NTV. Ukilipata sokoni shilingi 35 peke yake. Alafu leo wamesema Ileta matwiti ndani kama unaridhika na makocha ya nyumbani, makocha ugaibuni kuchukua mikoba kuinoa Harambe Stars. Iko hapa hii tisheti maridadi kabisa ya mwana spoti. Hii ni saizi ya mtu ambaye ya mejaja kidogo. Sio saizi yangu hii, lakini ziko saizi nyingi. <laughs> Kipata hii unaridhika kwa nyumbani, unaishi vizuri. Mungu ni mkuu. Afu, wacha hiyo. Wakakuja lina wakasema, baridi ya Nairobi siku tishe. Mavini, mavini. <laughs> wana spot hii iko vizuri. Alafu baadaye naendea umbrella, yani ule mwavuli uko pale chini naenda kuleta angalau kakinyesha Nairobi una majisitiri unajifunika na kuko vizuri. Lakini kabla niwalete ndani wageni wangu wafanikishe siku ya leo. Sio wageni hapa NTV wamekuweka miaka mingi. Lakini kesho kuna jambo kule camp Toyoyo. Tuone kama utasari. From the greatest in Kenyan football a call to action in the biggest match in Kenyan history, the final whistle. Dynamic, young, hungry, friends of Jerry Santo. Versus powerful, Fierce, legendary, friends of Situma. Friends of Jerry Santo versus Friends of Situma. Sunday the 18th of August. See you at Come to Yoyo Stadium at 2 p.m. Lenzito yambaye itakuwe na piwa kesho moja kwa moja kulia katika wanja wa camp Toyoyo. Mekusha kuja ajani dani vigogo wa wili, masogora wa wili mbao metesa katika ligiku ya kandanda ya Kenya tima taifa kabumbu harambe stars. Kesho wa miamua komba ni mbabe thidi ya mbabe. Ya msisituma ni <laughs> ni beki mstarabu kwa sasa mstafu kabisa kandanda kima taifa kwa harambe stars. Lakini ni beki mstarabu katika madhara United haja undoka. Menambia komba yuko sana. Mana kini likuwa na hapa wakati ya mikiki mikiki ya NTV jioni. <laughs> Akasema yuko sana. Sasa kesho yeye ni mwenye kiti wa kefu. Wa kefu wa ni... Niite kama ni shirikisho hivi lile linashughulikia masla ya wachezaji wa hapa nyumbani na hata wale wanasukuma kandando gaibuni ni mwenyekiti alafu anaandamana sambamba na katibu mkuu. Unajua katibu mkuu ndo ndo injini <laughs> ya kefu wa Jerry Santo anasukuma bado kule Posta Rangers sio? Kiongo. Karibu sana. <laughs> Situma karibu sana. Nashukuru. Sasa nataka kabla tuingie masala mengine ya pembeni. Kesho mmeamwaje? Hata rikubwa ile? Kesho napinga mtu wa. <laughs> Kesho. Uh, Unamaliza. Uh, uh, so, uh, atapata taabu sana. Najua. Nasikia chazaji wako wamelala kamp. Sasa sijikuwa. Sijui. Asha ona dalili. Unajua dalili ya, 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 ya mawingu nini? Ni mvua yake ile? Yeah. Yani unasema wamekesha? Ama dalili ya mvua. Unasema dalili ya mvua ni mawingu. Mawingu ya gane? Washa inda kamp. But lakini bada atapigwa tu. Ataulewa. Ah, <laughs> lazima. Jerry kesho ah, unapigwa. <laughs> nafikiri sitakuwa na mengi ya kusema kwa sababu kwa kusema tayari kesho nishinda. Kwa hiyo kesho sasa uwanjani. Matendo. Matendo. <laughs> e, ikifika jioni baada ya kipenga cha mwisho mtampa pole zake tu. <laughs> Maana tunaua Chinja uwa wanasema. Aki walai. <laughs> Sasa ni, ni timu, hizi mmetarisha kama ni timu ya situma na timu ya jeri. Mmefanya aje mawatafta wapi ya wanasoka? E, nafikiri ni marafiki ambao tumekuwa nao katika e, safari hii ndefu. E, binafsi nimekuwa na miaka kuminane ya kuweza kucheza katika ambayo neza nikaita professional football. 
e, ilianza mwaka wa 2006 pale Tusker FC. Kwa hiyo tumekutana na marafiki wengi ambao tumekuwa tukicheza nao, wengine wamestaafu, wengine bado wanacheza. Kwa hiyo tulifanya tu kuweza kuchagua wale wawili watatu ambao labda wana ile nafasi ya kuweza kuja. Tuna marafiki wengi yaani mpaka tumeshindwa kuchagua nani aje nani asije. <laughs> kwa mtu akifungiwa nje ni vile kumejaa. Ya, yeah, si ati kwamba sio rafiki mm -hmm. au nini. Ni vile kumejaa. Kwa hiyo tunawaomba radhi na tunawaambia waje tu kutupa support labda watakaopata dakika chache za kucheza. Tashukuru. Yaani pia wewe ni hivyo hivyo ni marafiki wa karibu wa ambao wamekuwa upande wako sana wakati umesukuma soka. Kabisa kwanza unaona amesema miaka 14. 14. Mimi nimecheza 17. Nisha mshinda already. Tajiriba. Bye. Experience. Kumano kina 17 ukifanya hesabu ya haraka haraka ni miaka mitatu mpiku nayo. Kabisa. Unaona? But unaona vile amesema kwamba marafiki unajua industry ya mpira marafiki wake pia ni marafiki zangu. So pale kuna marafiki wenye watacheza kwangu pia kipindi cha kwanza alafu kipindi cha pili wacheze kwake lakini wako wengi na tunawaambia wakuje kama unapata dakika kumi unacheza unatoka alafu unajua ni game yenye unapata wengi hawakui like walikuwa hawako active football so kuna ile fitness level pia haiko sawa so unapata hata mtu anaweza kucheza dakika kumi aone hata kabla atoke e, mwenyewe unampata shasi mama nje ya uwanja unaona <laughs> <laughs> so e, e, sasa ni game ya ya kuenjoy ya ku have fun kusherekehe so naweza sema kwamba yeye yeah, atakuja atapata nafasi ya kucheza hata kama dakika kumi, 15 si game kwa na rules lazima kumi na moja ama sijui sabu watatu ama nini mwenye anakuja unajua wakati unajua kuacha kitu ulikuwa unapenda kufanya si kazi rais unaona right. na pia si jambo ambalo vile umesema lilikuwa linafanyika hapa Kenya ni mara ya kwanza unaona so tunatarajia wenye wamekuwa wanausikwa wanasika na football industry wakuje wote watupatie support ni mix emotions kwa sababu najua si wote tuko sawa hakuna mtu alikuwa amepata jiraha bado tuna energy ya kukimbia but vile tuliongea unakumbuka tukiongea pembeni kakuwa kwamba kuna vitu mingi nataka natufanye unaona unaona kwamba muda imefika wacha tubishe wengine na tuwapatie support kwa sababu tumekuwa na mentor pia walikuwa natusukuma so wacha pia tusukume wengine bado tutakuwa tu involved kwa football industry sasa mkiwa nyinyi ndio wahusika wako mtacheza timu hiyo zitembea bila naoda mimi kwanza mwenyewe naoda kwao tayari wewe uko pale ndani jeri yako pale ndani kwa maana hoda okay mimi haja nijiongelee niko na coach <laughs> Kama ana kikosheka sha panga eh ajue mimi niko ndani. Eh. Wewe pia ndio tutacheza. Yaani lazima tu, tuongoze. Yaani tuonyeshe kwa mfano kwamba tunaongoza. Na jambo moja ambalo Situma amesema ambalo nafikiri ni jambo moja muhimu sana ambalo tu, tunapaswa tuzingatie ni kuweza kufika katika ile eh, eh, kuweza kusema kwamba wewe mwenyewe umeamua na staff Unajua siku zote si kitu rahisi. Kwa sababu ukisema miaka alivyosema miaka 17. 17. 17 mimi miaka 14. Wapo wengine wanacheza hata miaka 20. Miaka tuseme zaidi ya miaka kumi. Hayo ni miaka mengi sana ambayo mtu kama labda umekuwa unafanya kitu hata kama ni mtoto amekuwa amezaliwa tayari kesha koma. Na unapata kuwa yani kuna ile kumazoea yanakuwa yasha yashaingia kwenye maisha ya yako tabu. ya natabu sana kwa Kiswahili <laughs> wanasema hao. Kwa hiyo sasa unapata ndo mchezaji aweze kukubali ya kwamba imefika wakati natakiwa nianze kujipanga ku e, miaka yangu labda ya kucheza mpira ya naisha inakuwa tena ni shida kabisa. Na wamefanya utafiti e, wasomi wenyewe wanasema e, kwa mchezaji au mtu mwana sporti akiacha anakuwa ni kama yani amepotea yani miaka miwili ya kwanza inakuwa inamchanganya kabisa maana alikuwa ashaizoea kwa hiyo ni jambo nafikiri ni ya kwanza tunaifanya na tumependa hata kuwaita wale ambao walikuwa wamestaafu kwa sababu uh, tunao, tunaweza tukapenda iwe ni jambo ambalo eh, kuendelea mbele wana sporti ama mchezaji akitaka kustaafu anaweza akaiweka hadharani ndio weze kupata ile support unajua ukiwa peke yako inakuwa ni ngumu kukubali ile ile matokeo ya kwamba sasa hivi sichezi tena <laughs> na sisi unajua ni, ni kama entertainers tulikuwa tuna entertain watu Kwenye. sisi ni artist tumekuwa tukiperform watu wakiona kwa hivyo sasa unaona da sitakuwa na perform tena inakuwa ni inachanganya 
<laughs> Nataka tuiache kidogo hii ya ngoma ya kesho kwamba tarudi tuangazie upande wa mashabiki tuzo nini ajenda kuu na labda itakuwa inafanyika mara kwa mara hapa nyumbani na mipango mingine ambayo mko nayo kama kefwa. Nataka tuingie kidogo kwa soka ya Kenya. Timu ya Taifa Kabumbu Harambe Stars coach mkuu Sebastian Minye aliachia ngazi lakini kuna kauli nzito aliwahi kuitoa kwa wausi wa Kenya tuisikia. Yeah, but you're negative people, no? You know, when I, when I signed in Kenya, I knew it was not Ghana, it was not Senegal, it was Kenya. So I knew it will be difficult. I was not sure to be qualified for AFCON, huh, my friend. And I arrived after the defeat against Sierra Leone, and uh, the first game was against Ghana. Not easy, but we need to be optimistic and uh, optimist, optimistic, both can use, and uh, positive, and uh, to work hard. It's the only way I have to propose you. After all, I cannot be a liar to tell you, yeah, we will be qualified for all the competition. No, I I'm here to try to build something, to give a pop, the opportunity for locals uh, to show their quality with this team, but also I opened the door for the national team because before it was uh, only the same player. Now, uh, depends on the, what they can show during the training session, during their formal game in, uh, in their club. So uh, I need to continue to work and to stay positive. It's exactly uh, what I say to my players. Head up, you gave your best. After all, uh, that's life for football. If for every defeat, every defeat, you want to sack the coach, you want to change everything, but you will stay during as you are since 20 years. It will be the same. Mesha ondoka Sebastian Minya Mfaransa huyo baada kuipeleka Harambe Stars kika dimba la mataifa Afrika makala ya 32 mbili alo kwa kule Misri. Jerry, ama ondoka Minya, umalipugia aje? Uh, nafikiri ndio maisha ya mpira eh, kwa wachezaji na kwa makocha huwa ni leo upo kesho wa upo. Kwa hiyo si jambo la kusema ati tunaweza tukashangazwa sana. Ndio maisha eh, ya mpira ni it's either you perform and stay or you don't perform and leave. Na wakati mwingine pia inakuwa una perform lakini unaondoka. Kwa hiyo eh, si jambo tunaweza tukasema ati ni la kutuweka labda wasiwasi tuanze kuomboleza E, ni tujikungute tuangalie mbele na <laughs> tusilie yeah, tujikubali ndio <laughs> tukiwa na wewe situma hapa katika mikiki mikiki ya ntv jioni jumatatu siku ulinibia siri kwamba soka ni kama ndoa upande wa makochi kama matokeo hamna amesema jeri kama matokeo hamna talaka ya moja kwa moja ameondoka upande wa makochi wa nyumbani unaonaje ah mimi naangalia ah kwanza unaangalia the bigger picture unaangalia kwamba okay mtu amepewa na uwezo ndivyo ana uwezo unaona na swali lingine linakuja ni kwamba tutampatia support ile tulikuwa tunapatia uh, foreign coach hiyo ndio swali lingine unaona kwa sababu amesema mashabiki wa Kenya ni negative of course wake, unajua ukienda mahali lazima kuna kitu inaitwa culture unaona so ni vizuri uelezewe hapa ukienda left utakanyaga mtu ukienda right <laughs> <laughs> but mimi tunajua kwamba mashabiki always watakuwa na ideas zao watakuwa na opinion zao hata mwingine akakuja sahi mzungu watamwambia si tunataka hivi kwa sababu wanapenda mpira by the way mashabiki wa Kenya wanapenda mpira Sana. na ujue kwamba so nilisema kwamba kila kitu inakuja kwako wewe kama mkufunzi Una, una kikosi chako na unataka kufanya nini tuna makoch wenye wazuri sana wa qualified hapa Kenya but kitu muhimu ni kwamba pia tuwapatie support unaona kama niakumbuka tuliongea na wewe mingi sana kando na kamera nikisema kwamba unaangalia juzi minye ilikuwa wakitaka kwenda Afcon wakati alikuwa tu TV kikuja anasema ajalipo anaweza rudi nyumbani wanatoa pesa unaona haifai ifike pale unaona inafaa pia wetu vile amekuja hapa local coach tumpatie ile support vile coach alikuwa na ili matokeo isipokuja tunamuuliza kwa nini asiseme kwamba wachezaji hawajalipwa aseme kwamba si kucheza mechi za kirafiki mzuri aseme kwamba si kufanyiwa hili lakini unapata sisi hapa inakuwa kwamba kama tuko na local coach hatumpatii zile mimi sema acha niseme kwamba 
ile support tunapatia kama foreign coach akikuja tumpatie kama foreign coach alikuwa analipwa tuseme milioni tatu kwa mwezi apewa tatu wacha tumpe kwa sababu hiyo ndio value yake tunataka value unaona lakini tukiona kwamba huyu tunampaya milioni tatu naona huyu ni huyu ni Joshua Makori tu mia mbili na mtosha unaona hapo pia unajua atakupa hiyo rizali ya mia mbili matokeo ya mia mbili hata kupa matokeo ya milioni tatu unaona so tuwaonyeshe pia tunawavali na kwamba wako wazuri tuwapatie support alafu pia uh, jambo lingine ni tufanye team nilikuwa nimekwambia tufanye team mafans wa feel part and parcel of the team tafuta siku moja siku wachezaji hata wa trade weka ikuwe free mashabiki wakuje kwa uwanja wakuje wa mingle na wachezaji wa share ideas waongee wacha hao mashabiki waambie wachezaji wanatakaje unaona ndio unapata kama juzi tulikuwa tunacheza na Tanzania tunataka hata bao moja unapata timu wakati wanaona aichezi vizuri mafans wananyamaza hapana ndaka na ile timu haifanyi vizuri wameamka kwenye viti wanawasupport unaona hao ni vijana wetu tunaweza. tunaweza unaona so lazima tulete ile atmosphere kila mtu hii timu ni ya wakenya kila mtu afeel part and parcel ya timu na tutaendelea Minye kabla ondoke Kenya pia alitoa kauli yake nzito kuhusu wachezaji wa hapa nyumbani wakoje tumsikie uh, I think you forget where you are because you you were not qualified since 15 years okay you never qualify one team for the sham but the worst thing it's not for the sham for the Africa Cup of Nations under 17 under 20 never a country as Kenya never that means if you have some player able to compete for the final tournament in under 17 under 20 you offer them the possibility to win maturity experience and after maybe it will be easier to be qualified for sham so it's your thinking today, but uh, honestly, I gave my best. Uh, I offer the possibility to, to the fans to dream with, uh, with the AFCON, you know, and you didn't dream since a long time about football, concerning football. And uh, after, unfortunately, after the draw, I knew already when you have Senegal, the first one in Africa, plus Algeria, uh, the winner, when you're Kenya, of course, it's difficult. Today, uh, just to compare uh, the different players in the list, except Wanyama today, which player we have in terms of experience. Even Olunga, who compete very well, maybe the best player for Kenya, today is playing in League Two in Japan, my friend. And you want to compare the team with uh, Algeria or Senegal, maybe you're sad, but honestly, when you talk about our performance with all the coaches out of the country, Hervé Renard, Sebastian de Sade, the former coach of Uganda, Alain Gires, they told me, I don't know how, it was, how you were able to be qualified with this team. And if you have, we were unlucky also, if you have Mandela and George, maybe it's not the same story. You can create more trouble. Algeria is a stronger Senegal also, but maybe you can win time. So how one last, one last. But after about the, the last thing to, to resign, after you have to see with my president, I'm under contract, but I think it's already difficult to pay me if they need to pay my full contract, it will be difficult also. So, <laughs> so, so you know, I'm, I'm a hard worker. It's not because uh, today it's not a defeat. Huh? It's a draw. We are not qualified. Okay? And uh, even it's a difficult time. I knew when I signed in uh, Kenya, it would be difficult to... But my way is to work hard and to try to let something strong when you will sack me, for example. Sebastian Minya huya metuwa kauli zito, umaipoke ajia ukauli yake? Minya ya sema kwamba, okay, ndatumia maybe wadi ya kizungu. Mentality ilikuwa roo. 
mimi kivyangu kama alikuwa anaona kwamba hatuna wachezaji wazuri ndio maana atuja perform alafu ile imetaka kusema kwamba ukiona kwamba tulikuwa tumekawia hatujaenda na unajua ni kazi umepewa ndio tumekupea hiyo kazi utufikishe pale exactly hiyo ndio ilikuwa kazi yake na ndio maana unalipwa hiyo kazi unaona ndio nikikurudisha nyuma kidogo Uganda wachezaji wa Uganda wanacheza hapa na wanacheza Tanzania Uganda mchezaji gani anacheza tuseme EPL hakuna wamepiga Egypt hapa nyumbani Afcon wamecompete unaona hata game yao against Egypt unaona so kabla mimi kusema kabla uangalie kitu unaangalia kwanza nini wewe unafanya kwanza value yako na quality unaleta kwa kikosi kwa sababu timu sidhani kama timu walimwambia hii ni wachezaji tumia unaona alikuja kama coach wewe ukae chini uangalie nitachukua jeri atanisaidia kwa, kwa muda unaona yuko sawa lakini umechukua unajua sasa bila naongea amechukua wachezaji lakini anaona wachezaji hawezi compete at the top level ama wa hukumu tayari eh, exactly unaona so naweza imagine kama naweza sema hivyo mbele ya kamera nini naendelea anga kwa dress kwa sababu unajua kushinda haishindi tu pale kwa uwanja kitu unajua hata kama mtoto wako ukitaka kumbariki maana ina unamwambia ndio unamblesi exactly unaona wewe zimwambia unataka kuwe maybe engineer ama kuwe pilot lakini huku namwambia wewe hata uwezi hiyo kazi unaona lazima muonyeshe unaweza hata kama ana uwezo exactly unaona Uganda wana wachezaji wengi Tanzania na nini hawachezi lakini ukiangalia qualifier zote walikuwa na 100% record unaona so lazima tuangalie tunataka nini so miki vyangu nasema kwamba hiyo peke yake alikuja na mentality ile ya wrong alafu pia alikuja akijua Kenyans ni negative unaona so nadhani hiyo tukibadilisha hiyo perception then tunasonga mbele nafikiri inasikitisha sana kwanza Inauma. E, maana ukisema katika e, nchi ambayo labda ina youth sama wachezaji zaidi ya elfu kadhaa unasema hakuna ambao wako na uwezo si jambo la kuchukuliwa e, kwa uraisi e, naweza nikasema e, tuko na uwezo kama wachezaji wa Kenya sana wapo wengi sana ambao wanaweza wakacheza katika hizi ligi kuu ambayo labda anaona kama ndio mtu akiwa anacheza huko ndio ni mzuri au vipi lakini m, labda hawajapata nafasi ya kuweza kufika kule na kitu ambayo Situma amesema kwamba eh, alikuwa na mentality yani tayari kashajua eh, mi nakuja kwa nchi ambayo haikuwahi kucheza haiku labda katika Afcon labda haina wachezaji wazuri tayari inaonyesha kwamba labda eh, ata alikuwa na, anategemea matokeo mabaya. Kwa hiyo hata tusitegemea ati labda tunaweza tukafanya vizuri. Kwa sababu tayari anajua uwezo <laughs> hakuna, <laughs> hakuna kitu. So uh, inafai badilike mentality ya labda uh, kwa sababu uwezo tunao wachezaji wapo wazuri na hatuwezi tukashindwa ati kusema ati ya tutashindwa ku qualify. Kitu angefanya angekuja. Wakati alijua anaenda kwa timu ina wachezaji na wanaenda na matokeo unasema hiyo kazi mimi saweza mm. lakini wanza alikuja nadhani hizo ni vitu ameanza kusifikiria akiwa hapa na pia uh, nusema kocha akikuja hata sasa tumepea kimanzi unajua environment ama wate, wale watu wako jua na muongoza lazima umuonyeshe kila kitu positive mm. unaona si kama mfadhili tutasema ndasema kwamba makori wewe ufanye vizuri unaona lakini sasa mimi nikiongea kwako siambie jeri tena uja jeru siongee na James kwa sababu ameniambia mimi na wewe mimi siko na jeru unaona so hiyo mentality kama taibadilisha kwa sababu kiangalia vitu mingi amesema sidhani kama alikuwa naza akikuja ni vitu amezipata wapi hapa unaona so lazima tuko na environment ya kumekshua sure kwamba tumekupea kazi unaamini kila mtu watu wataongea lakini mtu anaweza ongea vitu tano mbili zinaweza kuwa ziko sawa hutamuonyesha kwamba umechukua lakini kivi yako unajua lakini hapa lazima ni lainishie maneno Tukusie swala la kocha nyumbani. Umeburura ukanileta kwa Kimanzi. Inadaiwa kwamba tayari Kimanzi ndiye kocha mkuu Harambee Stars anasaidiana na ZDK Ziko Tieno. Ngawaje FKF shirikisho la mpira mipo hapo Kenya chini ya Rais Mwendo alijasema rasmi kwamba tayari mikoba umepatiwa lakini penyeje za kiundani zinasema kiukweli umepatiwa mikoba. Kocha wa nyumbani Kimanzi unaonaje? Eh, nafikiri kocha wa nyumbani eh, bila hata kumtaja Kimanzi. Nafikiri tukitaja tu kocha wa nyumbani nafikiri tunao ambao wana uwezo na nafikiri pia wanajua filosofia ya Kenya wanajua wa Kenya vizuri wanaelewa wa Kenya ambao wanaweza wakasaidia maana labda wamekuwa katika ligi ya Kenya nyumbani na nini na kwa miaka mingi wamekuwa wakifuatilia alafu kiweza kuangalia sasa hivi kwa sababu ya teknolojia mpira ume uwezo ukasema yani ni ngumu kuelewa 
Kwa hiyo kama makocha wa nyumbani labda wanafanya katika kusoma kwenye internet kwenye nini. Kwa hiyo zinazofanyika kule nje haiwezi ikawa ni jambo geni kwa wao kuweza kuyafanya na kuyaiga na kuweza kufanya labda kuandaa timu iweze kuwa mzuri katika mashindano. Kwa hiyo mimi naamini asilimia mia kwamba makocha wa nyumbani wana uwezo mzuri na wakipewa nafasi wapewe ushirikiano na waonyeshe kwamba sisi tunawaamini na tumewapa nafasi hii e, kuweni huru mfanye e, yote mnayoweza na naamini wanaweza wakatupa matokeo mazuri tu kuna kauli imeingia hapa imetoka kwa James PH <laughs> kijana wangu huyu alikuwa iko hapa Twin Tower nasema shokali sana babu kubwa hii kesho tunajaja kule Machakos kwa galo akitesa mtu lafu baadaye Chelsea iko ruzane na Leicester City shabiki mkubwa wa Chelsea huyo anasema Ghost mle apewe Harambe Stars kauli yake nzito hiyo tayari kimanzi ndio kocha mkuu wa Harambe Stars tusidanganyane kwa hiyo kwa sasa kauli ya mwisho ya Minye akiwa hapo nyumbani TY After I'm not afraid about it it's one part of my uh, job okay I can accept the critic uh, the main thing is to be straight to work hard, to give my best for Kenya. I like this country so much. I uh, bring my family there. There is some reason. Uh, after all, uh, that's football. I knew it would be difficult. Last thing I will finish for, for, with that. Uh, don't be afraid if from the 12 of this month you cannot see me here because some of you know I have a daughter disabled. Unfortunately, she will be in hospital at this date, so I will return in France. I will not let the country, because sometimes I read, where is the coach? No, no, the coach is there. My uh, family will be there uh, for the French school at the beginning of September, and after, if something happens, it's not from me, okay? But uh, you have to be clear, and don't be afraid. I will be not far. My uh, different assistant will be there, and immediately when it will be uh, okay with my daughter, we already, uh, I think, book the flight ticket for all my family. We will be there. Don't worry, and uh, it will be possible to shout with me soon. Okay? Thank you. Tulikuuliza tu katika mtandao wa Twitter nini maoni yako makoo kwa hausu wa makocha hapa nyumbani na makocha ugaibuni kwa maoni yako nani unaona kidogo yuko vizuri kocha nyumbani mzuri kocha ugaibuni mzuri jitawale leta matweet ndani hashtag in top spot kama tweet alina hashtag tisheti upati tweet iliandamana na hashtag mara moja pala tiyosha makori at brano twal at aida waringa yuko sahi moroko pala nafanya mambo yake katika makala 12 ya mashindano ya bara afrika kwa sasa nataka nipeleke meli hii ya top spot chini ya maji kidogo tu alafu ndarejea mdosu kwa mrefu kwa hiyo wewe tulia ulipo kama na mwingi ya maskani ukachukua remote yako ukasema mambo mbashara moja kwa moja maskani ni ya sports hapa wewe leo tumekuuliza tu makocha hapa nyumbani kama yako na uonaje na makocha ugaibuni alafu nimechi gani unataka kuona leo katika EPL sisi hatuoneshi EPL tutoe hapo kidogo <laughs> Hashtag in top sport huyu anaitwa Charles G anasema Man City dhidi ya Tottenham ndo mechi anataka kuangalia sana ni ya majira saa moja unusu kule Etihad anaitwa Gichuki ama ni Gishuki yuko kule Meru anaona moja kwa moja kutoka Meru jina hapa ilikuwa nzito Benjamin Mwalimu Ondieki anasema sio wakati wa makocha nyumbani kuchukua Harambe Stars tuambia ni tu kweli kwamba two foreign best coaches have proven worthy only that they have got a challenge in terms of payment and the motivation kwa hiyo huyu anakataa makocha hapa nyumbani kila kauli yako inaheshimika tu wewe ilete tu mwingine anaitwa Mawaidha underscore Melissa <laughs> anasema kesho inapigwa Jerry Santo na James Situma <laughs> lakini anasema anaamini asilimia mia iko vizuri ni, ni moja kati ya michuano ambayo inafaa kuandaliwa kila wakati hapa nyumbani kuwaleta pamoja wachezaji ambao kiukweli walikuwa active sasa wako inactive kama kizungu kuna kama hiyo kizungu wao nipiga chenga kidogo <laughs> sasa kuna wale mashabiki wanapenda soka wa Kenya kiukweli walitoka uli zao kwa uso makochi wa hapa nyumbani na wale ugaibuni tuwasikia mimi ameacha kazi na somebody quoted and said ati football coaches are there to they are hired 
to be fired. So to the pundit who, who know how football goes, they are not surprised as in Minyaki who are fired. But uh, personally, I think we should give this job to a local person. I believe we have experienced players in this country who are seasoned, who are able to come back and give back to the society in, forms of, in form of training, uh, the young, uh, the, 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 the Arambe stars. So I don't see why we should, every time we want to hire a coach, I don't see why we should be hiring a foreign coach. Is it that out of the 50 million Kenyans, we don't have a local coach who can do this job? Your guess is as good as mine. There, there is someone, but because we want to look, I don't know, we want to look cool or we want to look like we are, you know, tough. How many foreign coaches have we hired? And all these foreign coaches, they have never even helped us go beyond Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON. So why, why do we continue doing the same thing over and over again and, and ex, uh, expect different results? So maybe we should give, uh, you know, uh, some local guy this job. Sasa kazi ya kufutafuta coach kila saa. Najua ma players sasa wanafawazo ya coach moja. Hata tukienda tushindwe. Bado tu tuendelea na huyo coach. Tuone kaa tunaweza shindwa mara ingine. Tukishindwa mara ingine ndo tubadilishe. Lakini tusikuwe kubadilisha badilisha coach. Unuona? Duno na game yetu kwa chini. Lajua coach si razima kuwe foreigner. Hata ule mwenye kuhu kuna ma coach. Bola tu kwenye watayelewana na wasimamizi wa mpira. Sinajua coach na ya ukimulipa vizuri na hata fanya kazi vizuri. Lakini ukimchukua na umulipi. Sinuona kazi ya itaenda. Yeah. Za prefer saito ndekwa local coach. Jutu kengalia timika Senegal. Wakona local coach. Na local coach ana understand. Ana understand. Vinye, vinye, vinye team inendelea na understand local players. All eyes will be on the Harambe Stars and how they will look to bounce back from the latest setback with the African 2021 qualifiers and the Sakafa tournament not too far away. For NTV, I'm Aida Waringa. Dadangu huyo Aida Waringa yuko kule Morocco na Pasha Pasha Misuli Moto. Yuma Ruban Delma anasema Harambe Stars na hitaji kocha wa kigeni kwa sabu serikali yetu ina waheshimu hawa kocha wa kigeni mara nyingi hawa nyumbani hata malipo ni tabu Tom Wilde boss mbili nne anasema streaming live from Hong Kong ah, si Hong Kong he Hong Kong <laughs> Mungu ni mkuu tunaona ngambo Hong Kong 100 111 sema Jesus yapewe Mungu ni mkuu na nyingine hapa anaitwa Musi Morris anasema we had local coaches before very poor in tapping grass Grassroot talents only Fabish did that. Marem Fabish Mungu amweke mali pema kwenye wema. Yeye alikuwa anaenda mashinani anafanya mambo yake. Too much of Madare United too. <laughs> Kamba ya Arambe iko na wengi wa Madare. Situma hapo wamewaingia kiatu. Tusome <laughs> 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 mwingine moja hapa mwisho alafu tuendelee pale kwa Starlets kidogo. Juma nimesoma yako, Hong Kong nimesoma yako. Kevin Masharia qualified coach hi it's not about a local i'm a foreign coach it's about a qualified coach who has the right philosophies kama kuna kizungu kama hicho filosofia ni muhimu sana tuachane mbali na mambo ya harambe stars na makochi ni nini tungoje nika fanye mambo yake pale amlete amzindue rasmi ziko tena naibu coach na kimanzu ziko cha mkuu Harambe Stars leo walikuwa wana mechi kule katika kaunti ya Machakos mechi ya Krafik dhidi ya Ethiopia wanajiandaa kwa mechi yao dhidi ya Malawi ya kuonea tiketi ya kushiriki kombe ni sio kombe lile ni michezo olimpiki ambayo itafanyika kule Japan Tokyo mwaka 2020 Harambe Stars wanaonekana wako vizuri katika kampeni yao Ya yeah, always uh, unajua mara mingi mpira wa wasichana unajua hao si watu angali sana hao unaona na tukiangalia vizuri na angalia hata hao qualification zao ni ni kama shortcut nje yao ni rahisi kama tunaweza wapatia more attention kufika tena kama hata hii Africa Cup of Nations sema hata kama ni World Cup unaona ukiangalia last time vile tulienda tulicheza mechi mbili peke yake i think tulicheza mechi nne game, game mbili mm. home away home away na tukakuwa tukifunga hapa game ya mwisho i think ilikuwa like Algeria na hey, tuka tukafuzu tuka yeah, tukaenda so unaona njia zao unapata somehow sing si yani complicated sana kama wanaume. Kwa sababu wanaume mara mko kwa kundi, e, mara mko mchujo. Unaona. So inatakana tu kama tunaweza wapatia umakinifu ama attention kwa Kiswahili. Umakinifu. Yes. Uko vizuri <laughs> stuma. <laughs> <laughs> umakinifu kidogo <clears throat> nadhani wanaweza fika mbali kwa sababu tuna talents hapa. 
na sisi mahali kama alitumeka kama shirikisho, shirikisho la wachezaji unapata tunawatembelea na ukiona vitu wanafanya ambako unashangaa mpaka hata saa hiki tunaweza kwamba tume kuna mechi tuhudhuria uru, pale Toyoyo ya ilikuwa Madhare na ilikuwa Madhare na Wadadia walinishangaza sana kwa sababu kiangalia step wamepiga ni kubwa sana sasa hizo wanacheza kama wanaume tu unapata mpira inaikuwa chini wanafungua inaanza inachezwa wanachenga si kama pale nyuma unaona na kitu naweza sema kwamba pia federation wamefanya kazi nzuri kwa sababu ukiangalia hapo nyuma kulikuwa kabisa hakuna kitu unaona so sasa hizi kuna kitu unaona so kama tunaweza tafuta njia za kuendelea ku ku make sure kwamba imeendelea kupanda na tumeendelea kusaidia wa, wa, wasichana itakuwa vyema kwa sababu ukiangalia kuna mtu amezaliwa na talanta anataka itumie kutengeneza maisha yake na ya familia yake unaona kwa sababu wanalazimika wana kufanya kazi zingine lakini wewe kazi yako unaona hapana mimi Mungu alinipa ita na fanya nifanyie lakini unapata analazimika kufanya kitu kingine kwa sababu anaona maybe huku hakuko sawa so tutake tu njia ya kuweza kuona kwamba wamekaa vizuri na tumeweza kuwapatia support ya kutosha mi na imani kwamba watafika mbali kwa sababu tukiangalia vile tulienda Africa Cup ile ile ya mwisho ile ile walicheza tulifungwa lakini pia kuna kitu kienda utasoma kitu so tunajitayarisha tena tunakuja unaona kwa sababu kiangalia tunao wengi na wanajua na ni wazuri unaona so tuwapatie support watafika mbali kiangalia kama hizi ma country zingine kama Nigeria ni unapata tuseme kwamba wamebahatika maybe unapata wasichana wengi wanacheza nje wanacheza professional football unlike sisi hapa but unapata si challenge ni nyingi sana unapata unatoka mazoezi maybe au una kitu hata ligi ni mahangaliko eh, kidogo kuna mtoto kuna nini unaona so unaangalia kuna familia so kuna challenges more but tukikaa chini vizuri tuone kwamba tuna value hao wasichana tuna value hao vijana tutafute namna ya kuwasaidia tutapata Kocha mkuu Daudi Omar alitoka uli yake nzito jana kabla ya mechi yao ya leo nzuri ya sport pia twisikia We are refreshing the team we have been scouting uh, the team in different uh, in different uh, situation competition we have been scouting in uh, women premier league we have been scouting in division 1 we have been scouting also in the school games so of course uh, i've refreshed the, the squad uh, roughly around uh, uh, 75% so we have a very young and fresh players for example if you look at a player like puren from uh, zitec you look at a player like uh, a player like uh, uh, gentrix these are, are, are players that now uh, shows uh, have the potential. So for me, the expectation is we have a, a new team. We have been working with them uh, in terms of uh, uh, the tactical uh, behavior per lines. And for me, uh, the match, uh, the match uh, talents that we have scouted because they are also uh, very skillful and a bit quick players. So for me, that's my, the excitement that I want to see. Shelton Odhiambo anaangalia moja kwa moja kutoka Karibangi South anasema kipindi kimenauka kabisa kauli yako jeri ya mwisho kuhusu hii Harambe Stars ndio tuingie katika ile junior kuna timu ambayo iko Eritrea inashiriki dimba la Sekafa jana imeifunga timu ya Somalia matatu kwa moja katika kundi A madada unaonaje kauli yako e, nafikiri Joshua madada zetu halina ubishi wameonyesha kwamba uwezo wanao talanta wanayo na tukiangalia e, unajua mpira wanawake inazidi kuimarika dunia nzima Sana. na tunaweza tukasema uh, starlets au dada zetu hawa hawajaachwa mbali katika kule kuweza ku, kuimarika pia kisporti na eh, eh, Afrika tunaweza tukasema eh, kuweza kuqualify katika African Cup si jambo ambalo linaweza likatufanya eh, tuwe tunashindwa mara kwa mara na tunaona kwamba eh, shirikisho ina wapa support nzuri ambayo tunashukuru lakini mimi ningependa waweze kuongeza ifike vile ambavyo wanavyoshughulikia pia timu ya wanaume Harambe Stars nao Harambe Stars waweze kupewa vile vile tuseme kama ile mizani ni 50 iwe ni 50 iwe ni 50 50 na na, na imani ya kwamba hata eh, kuweza kucheza kwenye World Cup inawezekana maana E, ndio wao waweze kufuzu katika World Cup ni kuweza kuenda African Cup alafu wafike semifinali na hiyo sio jambo ambalo ukiangalia na ligi hata ambavyo wanavyocheza saa hizi akina dada zetu haina hela haina nini lakini ukiweza kuangalia katika ile competition ambayo iko katika hizi ligi yeah, ukiangalia yeah. talanta tunao wachezaji ambao wana uwezo kabisa ya kuweza kucheza katika nyanja au katika uh, ile quality ambayo inachezwa katika World Cup 
Kwa hivyo tuweze tukasema e, wako mbali na Atalanta wanayo na ni vizuri wanaweza kucheza hata mechi za kirafiki kwa sababu unajua the more unacheza international matches ndio the more unaanza kuwa na ile uzoefu ya kuweza e, kucheza mechi za kimataifa na uh, vile kocha wao mwenyewe amesema wameweza kuchukua wachezaji labda wako kutoka kwenye shule kwenye nini kwa hiyo wakipata hiyo platform na hiyo stage ya kucheza na e, team za nje za nchi zingine at least confidence inaanza ku build na tunaweza tukasema team inaimarika Situma kimaoni yako junior stars wako kule Sekafa Eritrea. Hawa ni vijana ambao kuna madai yametokea kwamba walikusanya kusanya kwamba kuna mpangilio mzuri wa kukuza katika under 15, under 17 ile mpangilio mzima. Ngawaje FKF inangangana hapa na pale kwa kiki kwamba kila kitu kinakwenda sambamba. Unaionaje uko uko Eritrea na jana wameifunga Somalia matatu kwa moja. Ya ni jambo nzuri na kitu ya kwanza pia nitasema kwamba federation hiyo side pia wanajaribu wamefanya kazi nzuri kwa sababu safari ukitaka kutembea lazima uipange. Huwezi amka tu kwa nyumba na ona sema unaenda town ama unaenda mali unaenda. Unaona lazima uipangie. Na ukiangalia katika hizo ma under 15, 17, 20, 23 23 mpaka senior team federation wamefanya kazi nzuri ukiangalia unaona kitu inafanyika unaona na lazima twende huo mwendo unaona kwa sababu kama tunataka tufike mahali mimi alikuwa nasema tufike pale juu lazima tukue anda hizo 15 mtu anakuja anaingia anda 17 anda 20 anda 23 ukifika anda 23 in fact na anda 20 unaweza kucheza hata mpaka senior team bora ukue like ex, uko na extra uko yani something extra nyo unaweza offer na senior level unaweza but hawezi chukua hao anda 23 wote maybe tuseme karibu timu nusu peleke senior kwa sababu ni kama mtoto ana grow kuna stage utakuwa umemrukisha unaona so atanza anaweza kuwa mzuri lakini angalia hapa juu kimpeleka mapema utamuumiza unamwambia hapana kaa hapa uko mai ukifika kabisa ukifika pale utakuwa una uwezo mzuri unaona so hizo vitu lazima tuzifuate kwa utaratibu na tufuatilie kwa sababu kiangalia kwanza mashule ma, mashuleni kuna talanta mingi sana, sana. unaona so lazima tukue na njia ile mechanism ya kumekishwa kwamba hawa watoto wanaonekana na wanawekwa mahali na wanafuatilia kwa sababu wako pale wamefanya vizuri wameshinda tuseme wasipofika mwisho wametolewa wakuja tena wapotee unajua tumepoteza talanta so lazima hata wakirudi wafanye vyema wasifanye vyema tujue kwamba tunajenga unaona so hata wakirudi tunafuatilia tuwaweke mahali bado kuna wengine tunaongeza hizo miaka zikiendelea ili tukue tuna like follow up tuna grow tunamuona tunaangalia kwamba huyu after miaka kama tano, sita, saba, atakuwa amekoma mahali tunataka tucheze kama ni hiyo uh, Afcon tunaenda tuna quality mzuri na tuna kila kitu ime grow na inakuja tu paka inashika na ligi kuu unaona lazima tumekishwa kwamba vitu ziko sawa kwa sababu kiangalia ligi kuu kuna vitu mingi haziendi sawa unaona mi usema kwamba wachezaji wana national team wanatoka kwenye vilabu unaona na kama mchezaji ametoka kwenye kilabu mchezaji hayuko well motivated mwenye ana mashida mingi hawezi kuja pale national team na kupatie quality mzuri akupatie kazi mzuri kwa sababu anakuja hana mentality yake kwanza ni mbaya hayuko sawa kiakili ki, maybe kiafya pia hayuko sawa na unajua kila kitu ni familia unaona so lazima tuangalie kwamba vilabu zetu ziweze kufanya kazi pia vizuri ziangalie masuala ya wachezaji wakiwa na raa ligi yetu itakuwa na raa mafanzo ataenda mafanzo huenda wanjeno wanasema huyu mchezaji amepoteza chance kama yeye hata ningefunga kama nimelala unaona anasahau kwamba mchezaji miezi mbili ajalipe hii mpira inakuja maybe amefikiri wakati anacheza mpira inakuja nakumbuka nakili yake haiko hapo nilitoka nyumbani kwanza nikatumia message na na maybe bibi yangu kwamba hakuna sukari actually hiyo mpira imepita unaona so lazima tumekishwa kwamba welfare yao iko sawa akili yake ikiwa sawa ligi yetu itainuka na ikienuka wakikuja timu ya taifa matokeo taiona nataka nipeleke meli kwa mara nyingine chini ya maji mechi ya kesho ya pili ya junior stars ya kundi A itakuwa dhidi ya Sudan Burundi itakuwa ni Jumanne Eritrea wenyeji itakuwa ni mechi ya mwisho Alhamisi alafu kocha mkuu ni Mkenya yule anaitwa Sagari Lakhani nipenda muite Lahan alafu Harambe Stars mechi yao ya kuwania tiketi ya kwenda Olimpiki ya mwaka 2020 itakuwa dhidi ya Malawi ugenini Blanta ya tarehe 28 kabla kurudiana hapa nyumbani mwezi yao. Kwa sasa tena kwa mara nyingine meli ina inama ikirejea itakuwa no kuitimisha itimisha angalau upande huu wa football corner. Mungu ni mkuu. Tulia <laughs> hapo.
Thank you so much, Beth, you know, there. And indeed, we'll be following up on how that goes on. Just a few of your tweets here before I give it to Joshua Makori to conclude the football corner discussion. I think that the, the best thing to be done, or rather that's the best thing to be done, according to my view, a local coach will have that urge uh, to make uh, his country prosper than a foreigner. We should believe on, uh, on ourselves. I think it's in ourselves. And uh, we have... We have Dennis Adugava Adugava saying, yes, the pick of player is bad. We need someone who can go up to Mash Mashinani. And finally, we have one here saying, no, 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 no. He doesn't think that this is the best idea to have a local coach as Harambe Stars coach. Indeed, keep talking to us. Hashtag top spot at Brian Otwal at Yosho Makori at Sean Kadowan, a real Sean Kadowan and Aida Waringa Makori. Summarize up for us. Eh, wacha ni kamalizia malizia, lakini hapa naona, I can see here there is a, a tweet. <laughs> Aitua, anaitua Wycliffe Lumosi, alasema Shinyalu, wanangalia moja kwa moja. Alafu mingina anaitua Kelo Sibuor. Anasema mimi na amini watu wetu wanaweza na makocha wa humu nchini. Hata ghost mle, alifine kazi nzuri wakati wake. Mingina hapa anaitua aje. DR, DR ni kama ni, ni doctor, <laughs> Abraham Osei. Asema, asema, as to my view, it's better to focus on the competence of the coach instead of focusing on where he comes from. I think it's time to invest in local coaches. Consider a case of Sese uh, of Senegal. Lessons should be learned from that. Juma Samuel. Kisi tunafuatilia, Arsenal wanatoka sare ya moja moja. Juma Samuel huyo. Sawa. Sasa, kuna ile tuzo inakuja ya S-Jack. S-Jack ni hawa waandishu wa bari, wa spoti umu nchini, wanamungana wao mzima. Sasa, wanakuja kufanya lafu mwanasoka bora ni Francis Kahata, Enosh Ochieng, Joash Onyango. Hawa ndo wako katika orodha kuwania tuzo ya mchezaji bora kabisa likuya kandanda Kenya Msimulo Peter. Katika hawa... Watatu nonaje? MVP. Eh. Hey. <laughs> uh, okay, wote wamefanya kazi mzuri. Well. Kiangalia vile wamechangia kwa timu zao. Kiangalia kahata. Uneza angalia ligi mbaka vile wamecheza vile kaf competition. Kiangalia Joash. amekuwa so solid. Uh, kiangalia pia at, manini, mchango wake kwenye timu ya taifa. Well. So napata pia na ana, ana nafasi kubwa. Kiangalia Enosh. amekuwa mwenye mabao bora amekuwa ameongoza so naangalia pia ni kazi amefanya una kiangalia kwa wachezaji wote ukiangalia mara mingi watu wakienda kwa uwanja watu furahia kuona neti kitingika unaona yeah. but pia ndakana waangalia kwa makanifu sana waangalie nini mchango wa kila mchezaji waangalie kama wana hizo statistics amechangia nini kwa timu yake unaweza pata enosh maybe ana mabao mingi amekuwa mchezaji bora kwa mabao but unaweza angalia maybe Joa Shonyango kuna mecha mecheza ukiangalia pale nyuma maybe amefanya kazi mzuri so ni kiti eh, ni kiti nataka kukuena vitu mingi waangalie statistics moso zenye waangalie ukiangalia hata amekuwa anapiga kina tuisenge pale mapasi wakipiga mabao so mkiwa na hizo vitu zote pamoja mkuje mweke kwa meza muangalie then mtapata mshindi but mimi naangalia wote kila mtu amefanya kazi nzuri kwa timu yake so wana deserve kuwa hapa Manaka kwa miaka mingi katika tuzu za likikuya kananda Kenya KPL. Mm -hmm. Wajua hii ni ya S-Jack na kuna hili ya KPL wenyewe. Mm -hmm. Kwa mara nyingi wanasema haki ya itendeki. Safari mm -hmm. hii mwaka huu unonaji? E, nafikiri watu wanasema haki ya itendeki kwa sababu ya labda statistics za kuonyesha. Na ukiangalia labda ambao labda wamepata kuteuliwa katika hizo tuzo. Ni wale ambao labda watu wamepata fursa ya kuweza kuona mechi zao. Ukiangalia labda kama kahata na joash wamecheza katika Gormahia, wamecheza katika timu ya taifa. Kwa hiyo ni wachezaji ambao e, watu wengi sana wameweza kupata fursa ya kuwaona. Ukiangalia mechi za Gormahia hata kimataifa nini zimekuwa zikionyeshwa sana. Na nafikiri ni jambo ambalo inafaa labda e, wale ambao wanaweza kupeana hizi tuzo waanze ku build sasa on statistics. E, waanze kuchukua data ya labda wachezaji. Maana kuna wachezaji wengine labda wanacheza katika timu zingine wamefanya vizuri tu lakini hawakupata ile fursa ya kuweza kuonekana au e, data na information na ichukuliwi katika zile mechi ambazo wanaweza kup, e, kucheza na ndio maana labda unapata watu wanalalamika wakisema oh 
e, labda kuna walionewa au kuna nini lakini na, ndiyo lakini kikweli ni kwamba tunaona wale watatu ambao wako katika hii nafasi ya MVP wamekuwa na season nzuri na haina ubishi imeonekana katika timu ya taifa katika timu zao kwa hiyo na amini ambaye atakuwa amechukua ndo kweli atakuwa ni MVP. <laughs> Nataka tukamalize na ili dimba na kesho. Kesho unajua unaweza kuta kuna mingina ameingia kwa TV saa hii akawasha akaona tu kwa gani. Kesho kikubwa pale kampuni yake. <laughs> Napiga mtu. <laughs> Narudia. <laughs> <laughs> nasikia wachezaji wake nasikia wako zii mlolongo huko. Wamecamp. Washaenda camp. But ni vizuri wakae wa kule makeki huko wakuje kesho. <laughs> Watembee kwa wani. Unaona waache wenye mpira. <laughs> Sasa ujue kizuri ambacho kesho kitafanyika ni nini? Mm. Mpira ndio ambao itakuwa inakimbia. Sio watu. Ah, mpira. Kwa hiyo hata tukiwa tumeshiba tunatembea. Inabidi pia usonge. Ukimbize. Hapa mpira mguuni. Unaona wezi. Mpira mguuni wachezaji wanafungua katika nafasi mpira ndio utakimbia. Kwa hiyo hao watakuwa wananjana wataukimbiza sana ule mpira. Kaulimbiu wanasema chinja uwa. Yani <laughs> kesho. <laughs> chinja uwa. <laughs> Kitumia juu wa kwamba itakuwa siku njema. Nataka tuende muendo fulani. Different direction. Na tunabili kuanda tunasupport ya mafans. Tunasupport ya players. Ni kitu tunataka tujenge kuendele ambele. Atufanyi leo maybe tuache. Tutaka chini after hii. Tuone nini tuneza kuwa tunafanya pia. Tuneza igeuza kivingine. But najua tunataka wachezaji wote at least. Wakienda umu ilekeo. Ishikuwe kwamba makori mtana kuuliza. Mchezaji fulani alienda wapi. Ama anacheza timu gani. Mm. Unapata hizo vitu si upata sana kwa radio station. Mm. Tuona. So tunyi mweleko tunataka. Kama wachezaji wataona hiko sawa. Tunaheza tamani sana waende uo mwelekeo. But watu wakuje kesho. Tumeacha kucheza. Tunataka kuchangia tena kimpira kipande ingine eh upande huu mwingine so wakuja tupe support waone mimi nikinyorosha mtu pale toyoyo sana mtu ni huyo ah mtu ni huyo <laughs> yeah, <laughs> na, labda nikiongezea labda nikiongezea <laughs> imekuwa ni miaka 14 labda tumekuwa tukiwatumbuiza hawa mashabiki wetu e, tunawashukuru tuna sana kwa kuwa na sisi kutupatia support na labda comments zao ambao walikuwa wanazitoa zilikuwa zinatupa changamoto ya kuweza kufanya vizuri. Kwa ni vizuri kesho akija pale labda for the last time uh, tuweze kuwa kuwapa shukrani e, kutakuwa na labda tunaweza tukapiga picha nao kama mashabiki wengine tutakuwa labda na ya ni fursa ambayo itaweza kupatikana. Ndio siku nyingine labda tukiweza kupatana huko nje asije akashangaa na huu alipotelea wapi? Eh hey, anajua hey, anajua kweli rasmi huyu aliwacha kucheza mpira na anashughulika katika masuala mengine. Na pia tunawaomba wachezaji wengine ambao labda wako katika uh, miaka ambayo ni ya uh, unajua mpira kwa ukweli ina miaka yake. Una miaka ambayo ikifika labda roho tayari napenda lakini mwili umekataa. Kwa hiyo ni wachezaji wengine tunaomba kila mwaka kuna ambao huwa wanatoka katika E, kucheza mpira. Kwa hiyo ni fursa ambayo wanaweza e, wakawa wanaitumia na kuweza kuandaa mechi kama hizi ndio e, ikuwe e, ni jambo nzuri. Situma amelinda ngome miaka 17, ameachana na Harambe Stars. Wewe umekuwa kiungo miaka 14. Wewe pia umekubaliaishe? Naam, nimekubali. Ndio mechi yangu ya mwisho na staafu. Sasa hivi tunataka ku nimepeana contribution yangu ndani ya uwanja kwa miaka 14 ni muda mzuri sasa labda nianze ku contribute nje ya uwanja katika majukumu mengine. Kwa hiyo kesho ndio mechi ya mwisho. <laughs> Chinja uwa. Yeah. Chinja uwa. Kumalizia. <laughs> kwamba tuna kazi, tuna shirikisho la wachezaji na milango ziko wazi. Yote yule ya kuheshabiki, ya kuenani so long as una mawazo ya kuendeleza mpira. Tunakaribisha kuja tu tukai chini tuongee tuone vile tunaweza songa mbele tuone tunaweza saidia namna gani wachezaji kwa sababu na bili football ni teamwork na pia nakuja mpaka kwa uongozi so tunahitaji kila mtu imaanishi kwamba maybe ni officials wenye wako pale kama ni kumi ama ngapi au ni wana na association ama na wachezaji ya yote ile unaona una mawaidha mazuri na idea za kuendeleza mpira makuri karibu kuja tukai chini kunywe chai tukiongea tuone wachezaji wetu wanaweza saidika vipi chini ya sekunde kadhaa Victor Mugubu wa Nyama aliandaa ule mchono wake makala ya pili kule St Mary's. Kule kuna chukuliwa kama ngome ya matajiri matajiri na Mugubu alikulia katika maeneo ambayo kidogo sio kama yale mazingira. Imeje mmeamua kuipeleka pale mashinani? Maana toyoyo kitu moja watu watu hawajui kwamba ni okay, ni statistics. Ukiangalia wachezaji wa mpira 
naweza kuambia 99% wametoka kwa familia ambazo zina aziko sawa. Unaona? Ni wachache sana hiyo 1% yenye maybe umezaliwa nyumbani kwenu kuko sawa, unazaliwa kwa gari kila kitu iko huko, unaona? Lakini wachezaji wengi wamezaliwa maisha yao familia wame wamekuwa na safari ndefu sana. So mimi naamini kwamba mpira lazima turudishe pale. Si wenyewe safari zetu tukisema tukae hapa tuongee vile tumetembea mpaka siku mzima. Lakini sasa tunawezi sahau malume umetoka. So tunarudi pale, tutapata pale watu wametupa support na tunawashukuru familia, timu zimetupatia fursa ya kucheza, ya kuonyesha talanta zetu. Tunasema shukrani. Thank you so much for my defender Harambe Stars James Tuma. Shukrani. <laughs> Thank you so much for my Midfielder, midfielder, <laughs> midfielder. <laughs> Jerry Santo, thank you so much. Thank you. Karibuni sana siku nyingine. Asante. Asante sana. <laughs> For now I want to take a break, eh? a very short break but coming back we'll be talking about basketball. So stay tuned. <laughs>